Petco Park getting ready for a huge visit on Saturday, March 5th. Some San Diegans won't be going home till the sun comes up. Yeah, Garth Brooks is coming to town for the first time in close to seven years, and he joins us live right now over Zoom. Good morning, Garth. Hey, good morning. That was a great tie in with the lyrics. Nice time. That was fun. <laughs> I, great to see you. So this will be your first time performing at Petco Park, but not your first time in Friar Faithful territory. I know you once signed a minor league contract with the Padres while you were a huge country music star. How did that happen? Uh, it was just fun. I uh, just did it for uh, kids that launched the foundation, which is now over 20 years old and uh, just, um, it's it's great. We lost it with the San Diego Padres and all of Major League Baseball. And you talk about the sweetest guys on the planet. And they just kind of took me in and uh, let me play. They never let me get to play in the big park. So now I'm getting to come there and play finally in the big park. I'm excited. <laughs> finally getting to play at Peco. That is awesome. Uh, Garth, I had to do my research on you. That meant going to Wikipedia where I thought there would be a nice synopsis of your accomplishments. And it was like reading <laughs> a book in terms of all the things that you have done. Uh, I too, we're lucky. about the same age. I too ran track back in the day. Why the javelin? Oh, well, because I don't run. That's why. It's like, uh, I like the field events. I'm, I'm a fat guy, so I enjoy that. So we'd always be, you know, at these great festivals and these great track meets that have Fat Man Relay, right? And it'd be all the shot putters and, and the discus throwers and the javelin throwers, and you'd do a relay, and you'd run about 100 yards, and that was about as much as I'd run all year. How about you? What was your event? 800 meters. And, Woo, and no of thanks. course, we always well, that's had the, the new quarter mile too. Well, yeah, well, we had the banter with you guys that were doing the shot put and the javelin and whatnot about how easy you had life. So you know, amen. We sure did. That's the <laughs> hey, if it's hard, I don't do it. So that's why I enjoy getting to be an entertainer. Especially coming to San Diego, what you do is you start the song, they finish it, you start the next one. Like, it's 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 so good being Mr. Yearwood. It's crazy. Oh my goodness, that's so fun. I got to jump in here. I also ran track. I, I was a sprinter, 100 and 200 <laughs> meters. No oh, kidding. Painful. Ooh, the painful. elite. Hey, look, uh, we know you are comfortable in any kind of venue, big, small. What do you love about performing in a huge stadium? Uh, my job's to make it as small as it can possibly feel, right? You just want it real intimate. Same way when you play a little dive bar, you want it to feel like a stadium. So it's fun to get in there and, and you've got the. You've got the things that get people kind of going, like ain't going down, the sun comes up, principal places, but get ready what happens when songs like the dance or the river comes, then that place just shrinks down. It's so good. And right when you got them in, hit them with Colin Baton Rouge or the Thunder Rolls and just go on the roller coaster ride, man. It's a blast. Garth, we don't have much time left, but just a little taste of your creative process. You have so many songs that connect with people. Do you sit down every day to write, or does it just come to you and you say, okay, this is going to be a song? Yeah, I think you live it. That's the great thing about being a country music artist. Like today I'll go out and work on the farm with the guys, and you'll hear their stories. And, and that's all country music is, is real life, you know, put to song. So uh, the, the inspiration is endless. And I think what we all want to do is just relate with each other. And that's what country music does best. Well, you are, are thrilling people coming to San Diego. I can't tell you that enough. Again, remember everybody, this is the only Garth Brooks tour stop in 2022 on the West Coast. Tickets go on sale tomorrow morning, 10 a.m. We thank you so much for spending a few minutes talking to us. It was my pleasure. Thank you guys. And nice to talk to a couple of uh, sprinters. And yes, the 800 is, is now becoming a sprint itself. So I'll stay on the infield. You guys keep uh, making your laugh. So <laughs> and then I'll see we'll just wave to each other. All right. <laughs> Thank you so much, Garth. Thanks, Garth.